Hi guys, so we were talking a couple weeks ago about the SpaceX Dragon capsule and how it was launching for the second time this year. We drew the SpaceX Dragon capsule together in class, but for those of you who missed it, here is what we did. We started off with two parallel lines and they can go in any direction you want. You don't want them too close together. We want to draw it nice and big. Two parallel lines. Remember parallel lines are lines that travel alongside each other, but do not intersect. Now the SpaceX Dragon capsule, once it's in space, sort of resembles um, a cupcake. So it is a cylinder shape, and to make it look like a cylinder shape, we're going to make a curved line across the bottom to connect the two parallel lines. Make sure that line is, line is curved. And then I'm gonna do the same at the top, curving in the same direction. Curve from one line to the other. And doesn't that start to look a little bit 3D like a cylinder? Cylinders like a cup. For the top of the SpaceX capsule, it starts to bend in a little bit towards each other, like this. And then the top of it's sort of a V shape, but it's a soft V. It's not pointy at the top. Okay. Now, it has several additional features on it. Uh, it's got several rudders, wings um, on the outside, which start off looking like a triangle with the top cut off. So on this side, I'm gonna start two lines going towards each other. I don't want the point at the top, so I'm just gonna cut it off by making a line across. And that shape is actually a trapezoid, right? I'm gonna do the same on this side. Another trapezoid, triangle with the top cut off. There we go. Now I think there are four of these, so I'm gonna put one in the middle here. I'm gonna make a line to start with. And your trapezoid can go either way. I'm gonna make mine here. My lines are a little messy, but that's okay. All right. At the top here, this is where the astronauts sit, and there are some windows here. There are three ovals for the windows. And then there's a hatch here, which is sort of a square. And when you see a picture of the SpaceX Dragon, that hatch is actually black. Right. And then I'm around the bottom here, I'm gonna put a few lighter lines. This is why it reminds me of a cupcake. It reminds me of that paper that goes around the bottom of the cupcake with the ridges. And also, I'm going to turn my paper a little bit so that I can write the name of the space capsule, which is SpaceX, all in capital letters, S-P-A-C. E X and underneath I'm going to write dragon D R A G O N. Then there is also a little flag 
up here and when you color in your picture later you can color it in. I'm just going to make a little rectangle over here for the flag and later on I'll put in the stripes and the blue corner of the flag. Now we want to make it look like our SpaceX Dragon is in space and the pictures I've seen it's you can see part of Earth, so I'm not going to draw the whole planet, but I am going to make a big curved line in one corner here. And here's the trick: when I when my line runs into the space capsule, I'm going to pick my pencil up, draw an imaginary line to the other side. When I get to the other side, I'm going to put my pencil down and continue my line. So it looks now as if the SpaceX Dragon is in front of the planet. This is called overlapping. This pushes the planet behind the space capsule. Now I can add other planets or a moon by making some smaller circles. Maybe I'll put a moon over here. Maybe I'll put another planet over here. And if I want to add a some rings around my planet. I'm going to use the letter C, but I start at the side of the planet, so I'm just come up, out, around. I'm going to cross in front of the planet, so I'm going to draw right through it and curve my C around to this side. Okay, I can repeat this, make the rings a little wider, so I'm going to start together, bring it out, around, and in front, and bring it back together on this side. Now I have overlapping, right? Again, because the rings cross in front of the planet. I can also make some stars. So there are different ways you can make stars. I can make a star like this, upside down, B, B out, B down, B down, B out. I can make stars like that. I can make stars like this, almost like a plus sign or I can make stars like this. This is my trick. I make a letter A, but when I make the letter A, the line that goes across the A goes out. Now I'm gonna connect this side across to the bottom A of the A on the right side. So I'm starting on the left, cross it over to the right. Then I'm gonna start on the right and cross it over to the left. Did you get that? Okay, I'll show you again. So, start off with my letter A. Put the part that the bar that goes across the A goes outside. Bring the left side over, cross it down to the bottom of the A on the right side. Bring the right side over, cross it down over to the bottom of the A on the left side. Now I have a star. Okay, now you can add your own details to this too. Uh, whatever you want. You can add more planets, meteors, more stars, and then you're going to color it in. Now remember space is dark. So all of the space around the space capsule is going to be dark. The planets will be light. The capsule will be light, the stars will be light, but the space between them and around them will all be dark. You could do this with your pencil, or you could do it with crayons or markers or whatever coloring supplies you have at home. Okay? All right, I'm gonna go finish my picture. You guys have fun. Don't forget to submit your assignment to Schoology when you're all done so that I can give you a grade. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy coloring and to infinity and beyond.